Welcome to Da Nang. Today I'm gonna show you three hotels under $20. We're gonna start with the first one. This was the first hotel I stayed in Da Nang. And it has a great location. They are very friendly. And look at this. You have bar, a rice place, another spa, a convenience store. And you are just one block away from the beach. Let's go in, check a hotel room. And today I also have my fiance with me. She's gonna review with me. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so you have two elevators. There's one elevator here and there's another elevator here, which is very good. So you usually never have to wait long. And they have a buffet. Is this breakfast buffet? Oh uh, yes, we have a breakfast and ah. second floor. So they just cleaned up the floor. So you come in and you straight away in the bathroom. It's on. It's, it, it's still clean. They just cleaned the floor. Maybe they have to go back in. <laughs> then on the left, you have a mirror, a small seat, a very comfy bed. So for me, it's very important to have a comfortable bed. And I always slept very well here. I think you can get more pillows if you ask. They also have a mini bar, some snacks. I always ate these ones. <laughs> and they're not even overpriced, so it's uh, very, very cheap. The mini bar, a kettle, water, and a little couch. And you even have a beach view. Look at this. Thank you, bye bye. And what I really like here also, they have 24 hour reception. So there's always someone here. And some seating if you want to have a smoke here. Grab a drink here. It's pretty nice. And you have everything in the street as well. And then you just walk straight to the beach like that. So now for the next one, we're gonna go one parallel street from here to the next one. And when my brother visited me here, he just chose this hotel as well. I think he found it very cheap. Okay, for the next one, we're here at the Sea Light, sea Light Hotel. So I did not stay here, but my brother told me it was very nice. And he stayed in a few places and he liked it here the most. Also, the location is pretty good. It could be a little bit loud with construction work going on here. I don't know how long this is gonna be. But they have a brand new coffee shop here, which looks very nice. Look at this. This is like a tropical something. Very mysterious, woody. It looks the nice. Rain. A rainfall. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Uh, let's check out the hotel. And what the good thing is also here, you have a laundry right away here for 80 cents per kilo and massage places and a very nice another coffee shop right there where they also have brunch and everything maybe you got the keys okay let's go let's check it out so they have some kind of a store here so you can buy some hats and souvenirs or something two elevators which is very good um, i don't think they have any restaurant or a bar here but i mean this is a very very good value hotel but let's see the hotel room i'm i'm excited too I, i've never been here so we are just on the ninth floor let's check out the room it's 902 okay so one negative thing is in the lobby is no ac <laughs> they have one but i didn't turn it on so let's check out the room the room has ac and it's over there and also i heard it's very cold so look at this so you come in and it's just a big room and it smells very nice <laughs> it smells like a fresh laundry like hardcore uh, laundry detergent and the view you see the m hotel what we reviewed the other day and you have a little bit of a french balcony here so you could squeeze in here if you are smoking. 
when you close it, how, how noisy is it? I hear a little bit, a little bit construction. But I mean, at night there should be not, no construction. Let's see, do they have a, no, no safety box. But they have a refrigerator, that's good. Do they have a safety box somewhere? No, no safety box, just like the other one. A kettle, coffee, complimentary. Let's check out, oh, it's, it's a big space. They could, they could something, they could do something here, but. The bathroom looks pretty clean. Okay, so you got also a toothbrush, all the amenities, the standard amenities. Um, yeah, it looks, smells clean. It's not the, the AC is running perfect. The bed, I don't want to jump on it, but uh, my brother said it's a good bed. It's comfortable. Um, they have even a Samsung TV. Okay. Smells good. I think it's a good alternative and I think it's very cheap. It's I think under $15, under $15. I got to check and put the price here, right? Off to the next one. All right, so here on the left side, it's also an apartment building where you can get um, apartments for studio apartments for 8 million per month. So we are on our way now to the next hotel, Grand Sea View. It's not the quietest, but I think it's pretty good because of the location. So if you're just here for a few days and just want to have a place right in the middle of, of everything that might be a good option for you and they have a rooftop pool hotel room so it's here on the right side grand sea view and i showed you a few places around here when i did a walking tour and it's right in the heart of the antung area which is also this street is the it's very loud on the day the morning, so. Rio Brazilian barbecue and above it's Grand Sea View. So as you can see, it's like directly in the heart of the Antung area. You literally have everything around you, but it also comes with a price, a noise price. So it is not that quiet, not that quiet. I mean, I have no issues. I slept like a baby here. But people who are very noise sensitive, that might not be the right choice. But from the just simple stats, if you check out the, the location, you're in the heart of everything. And the beach is right there. So, okay, let's check it out. All right. But that went very quick. We have a nice lobby here, very comfortable seating. Okay, thank you so much. All right, so you get in. The bathroom on the left, it's a little bit dark, yeah. Okay, everything you need here. A window. And then it's like a big room. Some nice gold elements. <laughs> a refrigerator. And let's see if they have a safety box. Okay, so the bed, also king size bed, TV, and you have a sea view, actually. Okay, all right, that's about it. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. You want to see room balcony? A balcony? Sure. Ah, sure. So they also have balcony rooms. I think to the, so I think this is more quiet, right? Yes. Okay. So the room you saw is to the back. So, so this one is with balcony. 
Okay, the setup on the it's a little bit different. Smells good. Okay, so you have your big band to see you and you have a balcony and <laughs> you see directly to the bar so at night this might be a little bit loud but they should close at around 12 and the other hotel avatar hotel yeah, it's very spacious here very spacious yeah Nice mirror, kettle. <laughs> All right, let's go up and check out the rooftop pool because they have one. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> we are on the way to the swimming pool, and here is actually a spa right here. That's nice. <laughs> All right, let's go up. So on the sixth floor, part oh, today. Um, I stayed in this building the last time, I, so I never saw this rooms actually. And here on the left, I remember that, is the rooftop pool. A little bit of rusty steps here, but if it holds me, it holds you. So this is the pool. And like I, I when I was staying here, it was also always empty. So you basically have a pool right in the middle of the action. You can see here puppies, echo green. So it even goes up here. I don't know what they're doing here. It's so much space. Why is there a sketcher shoe? <laughs> no product placement. Oh. It's a nice apartment building, Tayo. My friend Kenny lives here. This place is also around $15, $17. Think about it. I think it's a great value for the price and location. If you are bad with stairs, there might be also not the right hotel for you. But also this one is a very nice all you can eat um, Brazilian steakhouse right below it and when I researched the places if they're really under $20 I found one hotel which is also super central for $9 I gotta check this out so this is gonna be a bonus <clears throat> so this is a very nice completely new modern apartment building where you can get monthly, monthly rentals. Also here, B&M apartment. A friend of mine stayed there for three months. And this building is also pretty new. But one thing you should always do here in Da Nang, uh, never rent anything on Airbnb for a month or anything like that. Always get a cheap hotel room or get an expensive hotel room for a few days um, and check out the areas you want to stay in. You really want to walk around listening to the sounds, what will really bother you and what not. And after that... <laughs> you can check out where you want to stay. So somewhere here it should be Flower Hotel. So this hotel I just saw today for nine US dollar or eight euro, so under ten dollar. I cannot promise you that it is always the case, but that's today and also in two weeks. So let's check it out. Okay. So with this price also comes, it's completely sold out, booked out. Uh, I will take their pictures and insert them here. And they look pretty good. The location is very good, but it also is a loud street here. 
But just imagine having a room for nine dollars. Think about it. So bottom line is, from all the rooms we saw today, I would, for, for budget travelers, I think it's good. But if, if you only have one or two weeks vacation and this is your vacation spot, just go for something more expensive. Maybe 50 to $100, maybe a, maybe a resort. But if you're just traveling on a budget or you're backpacking through Southeast Asia for a long time, those hotels are very all fine. Comment below what should I review next and check out those beachfront hotel reviews I did the other day. It's the M Hotel and the TMS Hotel. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.